In today's video, we're talking getting started with styled components. All right, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about styled components. Basically, styled components is a library which allows you to write your CSS in JS. Now, in the past, there's been kind of a big thing about separation of concerns. So you want your CSS files and your JS files not to, to meet in one thing. Now, this is changing a little bit and people are moving towards more JS, uh, CSS rather, in JS. So uh, there's libraries like style components, but also other ones. Uh, Emotion is a very popular one also. So today we're just going to do a little bit of an intro, get you uh, started, get up and running with style components, and then uh, you can run from there with uh, the docs and there's plenty of material online. So let's get started here. So we're going to go into our uh, terminal here. Okay, so I'm in my desktop here and I'm going to run npx and then create react app. This is going to scaffold us um, a little project that we can use and I'm going to call it styled. And we're going to let that run. Once it's up and running, we're going to do a little more setup and then we'll get right into it. Okay, so now that that's finished downloading, I am going to uh, CD into the file. So styled, I called it. Um, CD into that. And then I'm going to open it up in my code editor, uh, which I'm using uh, VS Code. But if you're using Atom or uh, anything else, that's just fine. So we got it open. Let's bring it over here. Sorry, make this a little bigger for you guys. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now this is just the create react app. Um, we're going to get rid of a few things. We don't need the test file, so we can delete that. Boom, we don't need the logo. We can delete that. We don't need what else? We don't need the app.css. So we're going to be using style components and yeah. All right, so now that we are set up and gotten rid of uh, those files there, let's go into our app.js here, and we're gonna get rid of the app.css and the logo.svg, and we're gonna get rid of everything, this header here, and we can get rid of this class name. Okay, so that's fine, and then in here, let's just do an h1, and we'll just say hello. Okay, perfect, now, one last thing we do need to do is let's open up our integrated terminal here and let's go, uh, well, let's just see if it works. So npm start and that should work uh, and open it up in a new window here. So perfect, we got hello there. So now that that's working, let's open up a new window in our terminal. Let's go npm install dash dash save styled dash components we'll run that and now that that's all run we're back and we can start by importing it so import styled from style components and then a couple things we're going to change so how this is going to work is we're going to do kind of a header that would be like on a welcome page or something. And then we're just gonna have one element which will be a button inside of that. So we're gonna call it header and this is the component we're gonna create. And then in here, we're gonna have a button and that's just gonna say welcome. Okay, so that's gonna be our complete structure. That's all we need to do there. And then above that, we're gonna wanna create that header that we just added. So header equals styled dot header now when we say style dot header this header here this can be anything so if we wanted to write style dot uh, div if it was a div element we wanted here or style dot h1 if we wanted it h1 element but we want a header element so we're just going to write header and then you're going to add back ticks there and make sure they're back ticks and not regular uh, quotes okay so that's great and we're going to write background this is where we're just going to add all our CSS. So our background is going to be 2853EC3. And then we're going to have a background size. Background size type. And that's going to be a cover. 
and then we're gonna have a height of, and we're gonna go 70 VH, which stands for view height. And then text align, and that's gonna be, we're gonna center that. Okay, so let's maybe go ahead, we'll save that, and then go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay, so we got our background color, color. this is our header, and then we got our button inside, and we'll center that and stuff and style that next. Okay, so that's looking good. So because we have this button inside of this header, just like in CSS, we can go button and then apply our styles within that. So we got margin top of 15 rim. We got a background of, what is it? 33C0FF, okay. And we're gonna go color of white and a padding of 20 picks, 30 picks, picks, 30 picks, and a border uh, radius of five picks. They'll just round the corners of our button and a font, uh, font size of 22 picks. And let's see what that looks like. See from in here, okay, so that's gonna be our header. This is our button. Obviously we'd have a little more, but that's good for now. And then let's add a little hover to it. So again, just like in CSS, we can easily just go and hover. And then inside that, we're gonna add a box shadow. And that's gonna be five picks, 10 picks, and two, three, four, four, eight. All right, and that's all we got for that. So now we got our thing, we come in, we hover over a welcome button, we get a nice little uh, hover um, animation style. So that looks good, okay. So that's kind of the intro to style components. There's a lot more you can go ahead and uh, check out the docs for. Um, but I think that's a good good place to get you started. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give a give it a like. And if you're interested in subscribing and like to see more of this type of video, uh, go ahead and do that. All right, thanks a lot.